Hello everyone, my name is Ryan and welcome once again to the episode video of instructional series done by Rahim Hafiz. So, we move on to the introduction for the Upbox. Now, the Upbox uses FDM technology and is a newly and improved system and has been shown to be very reliable in the FDM uh, machines out there. Of all the FDM machines out there, it has, been, it has proved itself to be one of the more reliable machines. This is actually a very good design because it promotes uh, it promotes the, the material the, it promotes your part to stick onto the build plate and one of the major problems that we have is that models and parts actually walk so when you when you, when we fit all enclosed in it prevents uneven uh, uneven uh, heating of the build plate and prevents warping at the same time you also have its own filter, inbuilt filter, which actually helps to purify the air inside and remove toxic fumes. It has two covers. We have the front cover and we have the top cover. Now during 3D printing, the the front cover has to be closed and only the top cover can open. The front cover is open, the 3D print job will stop. So you don't want this. So you will pause for a while. So until you close it, then you resume the print job again. So try your best to open the front cover only open the top cover. So to start off this instructional series, I will show you how to start the 3D printer itself. You first switch on the power supply over here, and then you move on to the second button over here at the back of the 3D printer. There's a button which will switch it on. If you switch on the machine itself, you will see an orange pulsing light. So now we have to move on to our button functions. So the up box itself has three buttons and these three buttons, each button have three features which is the single press, the double press and the long press. Now to initialize the printer to start it off, you will have to do a long press of the first button. So you press for a long period of time until you hear this particular sound and then it will start to initialize. You will know that it has been initialized once the up box color changes from orange to green. Now it has been initialized. press on the middle button. So right now I'm going to press one time for the single button. And he has started to preheat. How do I know whether it's preheating is when you see the indicator over here. You will see the you will see the blue lights. So once the blue lights actually reach all the way to the end then you know that the plate has been reheated to its temperature which is the part the temperature that you want is 100 degrees Celsius
Okay, so just now we have already talked about two button functions, which is the initialize and the platform preheat. Now let's move on to the other button functions. What are they used for? So let's look over here. So for the first button, the single press is to switch on the lights. So the lights in the up box itself, so you can see your brain drop for a period of two minutes. It's a temporary uh, light on button. Now if let's say you do a double press, it reprints your last job. So you, once you finish printing your job, and then after that you've taken out your part, and you want to reprint it, so you just do a double press because the printer itself stores the data or stores the file of your print job. So you can simply do a double press and you will reprint your last job. So we talk about initialize, which is the long press for the first button. As for the second button, so the single press is your platform preheat. A double press which to which is to withdraw your filament alright and the long press is to extrude your filament so these two things is when you, you do it when you want to change uh, when you want to change filament after it has really finished off. the last button single press is a permanent light on or light off the double press the double press is for the pause or resume so maybe you're doing a print job and you want to pause it for a while, you do double press. And if let's say you have open, accidentally open the front lid and you want to resume, you double press again. For the last button is the long press. So you will do a long press and you get the stop function. So you entirely stop your print job from printing. the more important thing for you to take note is to is that how do I put in the build plate onto the bottom surface alright so make sure that everything is clean off I have no uh, materials taking out so once that is done I put in my build plate and I position it such that the screws are located in this respective Okay, so what you have to do is by using your, your thumb and your first finger, you push down the sides and you push it in. You can see that the, the build plate is flush with the bottom plate. You know that you have successfully put it in properly. Alright, so now we will move on to the nose and hows of how to use the 3D printer software. So over here you can see my 3D printer software up 2.17. I double click on it and I open my part. So I, my part is in uh, this particular folder. So I'm using my pin rod connector. So I left click on my mouse and I can see my part in a 360 degrees view. Alright, and after I go to fit to go back to this original position, now I can manipulate my part. I can click on it and I can move it, move it in the x axis, the y axis, the z axis. So, all these things you can do on the, the software. Okay, you can also rotate it. So, rotate it in the 90 degrees angle. Rotate, 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 rotate. Okay, at the end of it all, must make sure that you always press place before you start your print job okay, or else you will start printing in mid-air you don't want that so you, you make sure that the part is uh, placed uh, on the platform before you start your print job so now I have my part there already and that's the, uh, that's the orientation that I want to print it in okay, uh, rather I don't want to print it in this orientation I want to rotate it uh, in this orientation and then after that I go to print Okay, I select the printer that I want to print it with, which is 505698, which is the printer that I want to use. Alright, so if you want to if you wanna, uh, change printer, you can go to over here, printer, select the second one. Uh, so now you have selected 505714, uh, but that is not a printer I want to use, so I change back. So when I press print, 
uh, it will show it will reflect 505698 and then after that if let's say I want a different resolution I press preferences and I create my own resolution so 0 0.1 0 0.15 0 0.2 0 0.25 all the way until 0 0.4 so I now I click 0 0.2 and I create my filling all right so uh, if I want more filling it will be look like this if I want less filling I use this function all right so uh, try and play around with these four uh, uh, shell is to create a hollow inside your part and surface is only to create the walls of your structure so you, you normally don't want that so you, you use either from the least filling to the most filling okay, in entirely up to you okay now I'm using least filling I press ok and I start my print job ok so you will you will show uh, that you will be sending its layers to the printer so once it's finishes sending all its layers you will give a code say that the amount of material that I'm using and the, the print time so these two uh, the, these two information is necessary for you to record down how much material you're using and how much print time you are you, you are using so that we can make the necessary charges from the design studio Press OK so once all the layers has been sent it means that you can already unplug your computer from the uh, you can unplug the USB cable from your computer and it has stored the information in your 3D printer and you do not need to continue ha having your computer uh, uh, the, the USB port uh, your USB plugged into your computer so that's pretty much it now it's uh, heating the nozzle is heating to 260 degrees and the platform is heating to 47 uh, to 100 degrees Celsius okay so uh, once it is ready once it, the, the nozzle has entirely here uh, heated up then you can just start your print job okay make sure your platform is at least 80 percent heated up before you start your print job this is very important so that your print job does do not warp Display and use your finger over here, pull it out, okay, and you pick up your build plate. Okay. This was a printed part that was printed earlier on, so we just want to demonstrate how exactly you take out the part. So one of the methods which is uh, which is useful is to point the plate downwards and use this tool over here to scrap it out at an angle of around 10 to 15 degrees from the plate 10 to 15 degrees from the plate not too high but more of uh, at, at this angle now never ever put your hand in front and scrap it out because then you will get this kind of injury and your hands will so do not do that. So always hold okay, this way. Let's put it. Let's scrap it up. You have a left to right movement of your of your scraper. Everything is clean. Next is you remove your raft out from your material. It's a simple peeling process. And voila, you have the material over here. So all these are support structures because these are actually holes. So this these holes you will just have to either peel it off 
or use a tool to remove it from the structure itself. Okay, and you have a very very clean finish for you. Yes. So once you're done, you're gonna deinitialize it by pressing the first button and press it for a long while, and then it will start to turn from the green color to your orange color. And I'm doing this for my other printer as well. This one from from, from green to orange. So now it's at the uh, the state, the resting state. So I switch off the button at the back here button at the back and always remember to switch off the button at on the main supply and you're done for the day so that's our video for our outbox printer i hope that you all have learned a lot on how to use the outbox printer and feel free to approach me if you have any problems thank you very much for watching and have a lovely day